What's up, David here, and in this video, I'm gonna give you five simple bench press techniques you can implement today to optimize your bench press form so you can have a stronger bench press and push more weight, but also so that you get to build a bigger chest and get the most chest gains possible. Let's get started. So before we hit the gym and I actually show you these techniques, there's just two quick things I wanted to say. First of all, I do not consider myself a strong bencher, but since I've implemented these five techniques, my bench press is shot through the roof, and not only am I benching more weight now than I was a month ago, I also have a lot more control over the weight and I'm not shaky at all, and that's just as important, if not more important, than the weight you're using. And second, I wanna give full credit where it's due. I got most of these techniques from Greg Knuckles' bench press guide. I'll link that in the description below. It's a long guide, but it's well worth the read if you have the time. Anyway, let's hit the gym and get started. It's time to get beastly. Got my phone, got my sneakers, got my keys, got my water bottle with Gatorade. I just got back from Sevilla, Spain, where it's been like 75 and sunny, and literally the day after I got back to Boston, we got hit by a huge blizzard. Why me? All right, my first technique for you is to lie down some resistance bands on the bench because this is gonna give your back more traction. So when you dig your shoulder blades into the bench and you apply leg drive, we'll talk more about that in a minute, this way you just won't slide off the back of the bench press. And most big gyms will have these, but if your gym does not, I'll put a link where you can buy these to Amazon in the description. All right, this is my first warm up set at 135. Anyway, the first technique is to use the uprights where you see my hands now to pinch your shoulder blades together. So you're gonna put your hands on them and then push your hands outwards so that your shoulder blades pinch together. And then you're gonna set your shoulder blades down onto the bench press. And this is gonna create an extremely stable base for you. So that once you start benching, you're gonna be as strong as possible. All right, this is a few warm up sets later at 195. Anyway, the third technique is after you pinch your shoulder blades together, use your hands while they're still on the uprights to pull your body backwards, like you're trying to pull your head off the back of the bench, and also to plant your feet firmly into the floor and use your feet to push your body backwards. This is gonna load as much of your weight as possible onto your shoulder blades, and in turn, this is gonna create an extremely stable base that makes you as strong as possible once you unrack the weight and you start pressing it. All right, this is a set at 205 for five reps. Anyway, the fourth technique is to squeeze the ever-living shit out of the bar. When you squeeze the bar super tight, on one hand, it's gonna keep your wrist straight, but on the other hand, there's evidence that shows that really strongly contracting one muscle group, like your grip strength, that can also make your other muscle groups stronger. So, you know, it could potentially create a stronger contraction in your triceps, in your chest, and ultimately, obviously, this is gonna allow you to have a stronger bench press. After a few more sets of 205 for five, this is a final burnout set at 185. Anyway, the final technique is to keep your eyes on the bar the entire time. For some reason, this makes it easier to keep a consistent bar path and it prevents you from letting the bar drift too far downwards or too far upwards. And ultimately, this is gonna allow you to conserve energy and be as strong as possible. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the workout and I'll see y'all back at the crib. All right, so those are five simple bench press techniques that have really allowed me to break through a plateau that I was at probably for one year. And I'm confident that these techniques have created the foundation for me to continue making incremental progress going forward, which is really all you can hope for. So I hope you can steal some of these techniques and use them to improve your bench press for yourself. If you do try them out, please report back in the comments below and let me know how they felt. And if you're looking for a routine and a full program to support your growth with your bench press and the rest of your body, then check out my program, Shortcut to Gains. The link will be in the description. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. If you liked the video and you enjoy my channel, make sure you hit subscribe because I release a new video every single Monday and every single Thursday. I know this one went up a couple days late, but that was a mistake. It's not gonna happen again. Otherwise, give the video a thumbs up. I'll talk to you in the next video. I better talk to you in the next video or I'm gonna be mad, bro. Stay beastly. Oh,